Hey guys, so I just did a Q&A video for over on my main channel, so you know, if you wanted to know more about me, go check that out. Um, yeah, so anyway, I wanted to talk about the video I did a while ago, which was about video games and sort of what you like in video games, and I wanted to talk mainly about, I have a paintbrush here, I don't know why, it's pretty wave about and stuff, I don't know. Oh gosh, but yeah, um, I sort of wanted to know what people notice in games because I mean, going back to the example I used before of me playing Deus Ex, you know, I play it for the story so I was just sort of focusing on actually playing the game and I didn't know those big things I missed through like not exploring and not looking at like fine details and I missed quite a bit <laughs> I didn't even know you could save the hostages on the first, in like the first real mission. And so I felt a bit stupid. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you kind of get caught up in playing the game. And you know, especially if it's an action packed game where you're like fighting and shooting people. And you can miss big sections of like game design and like big rooms and things. And you don't look at all the fine details because you're playing the game really. And it's, you know, it's what you're supposed to do. But sometimes you could sh you that. Sometimes you should mix your words up. But sometimes you should just like take a moment and look around. Because in Left 4 Dead 2, you're continuously like bombarded with zombies. So I mean, it's kind of hard to look at fine details. But you miss you end up missing whole rooms and things. And all the rooms are there for a reason. You know, they've been put there. They might be empty, but they've been put there by game designers for some reason and you kind of miss them so it's you know I want to know what you guys see when you're playing a game do you look at all fine details or you just play the game I mean how many games do you know that have toilets in them <laughs> it's just I'm, I'm wondering because there are a lot of games that have toilets in them don't ask why I know that it was mentioned in someone else's video so I was like what games do actually have toilets in them and there's quite a few. <laughs> there's like a top 18 most memorable video game toilets on some site. That's crazy. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. And I think that's, you know, what... It's easy to miss things. Like in everyday life even. Even? Making no sense. So anyway, you may have noticed I changed all of this. And I put my little clay figures up here and I said... I said I was going to make Adam Jensen, and well, here he is. Look, isn't he kind of adorable? I mean, his head's kind of too round, and it doesn't look like him at all. But I think I did a good job with his combat armor, and especially his arms. I mean, they look pretty cool. I'm proud of that, not the head. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Yeah. So I need to find a place to put this, maybe over here? There we go, and I also have um, David Sarif, who kind of reminds me of Sweeney Todd, in a way. I think it's his hair, but he didn't go too according to plan. So let's put you here. And then, oh gosh, you fell over. Please don't lose your head. Because um, uh, this is um, Adam Jensen in his coat. Yeah, he lost his head. <laughs> his head's here. Yeah. That didn't go according to plan. Oops. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Seriously. Let's just leave it there. It can gather dust. It's awfully dusty in this corner. Even though I tidied everything up. I mean, seriously. Who'd have thought there'd be so much dust? Ugh. So yes. That is about it for this video. I'm going to a special kind of video thing coming up. Because I hit 100 subscribers. Thank you, all of you. You're all amazing. I love you all. Seriously. So yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. And here, have, have a paintbrush. That's covered in paint. Yay. <laughs>